Welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. So what do we got going on today? Well if you can notice here on the table, I got some messed up copper. Alright, so what I'm gonna do today, we're going I got three different ways that we're gonna clean copper. Uh, one uh, is true and tested by, uh, and I've used it many a time and it worked fantastic, but I've had a couple other different ways. We're gonna try it out and see what happens. Okay. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is, I am making a, uh, a paste to clean like the outside of my parrot. Okay, it's looking a little scrungy. Uh, like I said, this is a new, I've never used this before. We're gonna find out. So, and I will put all the ingredients in the uh, description box. But on this one, first thing is a quarter cup of regular uh, flour. And then a quarter cup of salt. Quarter cup of salt. Give that one quick stir. All right, and then what we want to do is uh, we're going to add enough vinegar just to make a paste. So we'll just add a little bit at a time and make a paste out of it. Getting close. Just a hair bit. I think I about to do it. So just enough vinegar to uh, make a paste, it's just like play dough. Okay, let me put the lid on this before I spill it. All right. So, if we take that, and I will just do a spot here in the middle of the uh, parrot, so you just, supposedly, you just, uh, I think just a little bit, I think it needs to be a little bit thinner. Let's try that. Yeah, it's a little bit better. And yeah, we'll just use it here. I mean, it's definitely working. A little bit of work involved, but if you had something you kind of wanted to polish up,
I mean, yes, yeah, it's just a little bit of work. We can paper down, wipe that off so you can see what it looks like. I mean, if you look at the rest of the parrot, yes, it does work. It is a little bit of uh, work to do it, but it does a nice job. Okay. And I would imagine you put a lid on this. I ain't sure how long it will last. That I don't know. It never, nothing ever said that. Okay. So that's number one way, or one of the ways. All right, so let me uh, get set. Okay, so the next method we're going to do, and this one's been out there for a while. Uh, I got the, the ingredients from George over at Barley Hops. Uh, he calls it the 551 cleaner. I've used it a number of times, and it works out fantastic for me. So let's see what we can do with it. And the basic ingredients is 500 milliliters of water. Okay, 50 milliliters. Does this have 50? Fifty milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Fifty milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. And one ounce of citric acid. Give that a little stir. Okay, I think it's all mixed up. All right, and what would you do with this is just let it soak. All right, so I'm gonna let that soak in there probably for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna pull it out and see what it looks like. Okay. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. This is the 551. I mean, let me bring this over so a little closer for you. And this is doing you know, absolutely nothing except letting it soak. You can see actually where that was in the liquid, the difference between there and there. This part was under the liquid. It's nice to get nice and shiny, okay? And then this is where we scrubbed with the paste. Okay, so the next solution we're going to use, and we'll try it on the other end, and we'll compare everything up. Uh, let me get that mixed up, then we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is the 551. We'll set that over right there for now. Okay, the next one is three cups of water. Okay, three cups of water. One cup of vinegar. Let me find it on here. Right there. One cup of vinegar. One cup of vinegar. And one tablespoon of salt. I'm 
we'll mix that up. All right. Now we'll take our parrot and we'll put the other end in. And we'll give it 15 minutes and we'll come back and see how it works. And then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our uh, co uh, copper mesh. We'll put some in the 551 and some in the um, water and vinegar solution and we'll see how they turn out all right so i'll be back in 15 minutes so it's been 15 minutes let's see what she looks like all right let me bring this over to you okay can you see that that was the uh, 551 down here is the uh the vinegar, water, and salt. And this here in the middle is the paste. Well, it seems to me that the uh, vinegar salt seemed to do a lot nicer job. Look at that. There's the 551. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong, that's, that's beautiful. But this is the vinegar and salt solution. Um, you can definitely see. All right, so what I'm gonna do, okay, so the next test what I'm gonna do is this one right here is my vinegar salt solution. And this one here is the 551. Okay, so you can see all these uh, um, meshes, my copper mesh. They're all pretty, pretty uh, scrungy. They're all dirty, about the same. All right, so we're going to uh, put that into each one. We're going to give it 15 minutes, and then we'll come back and see what they look like, okay? They're both bubbling a little bit. Okay, see you in 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. Okay, here's the 551 solution. I mean, that's looking pretty darn good. Nice looking. See how the uh, solution turned blue? Now this is the vinegar and salt. That turned out nice too. But I'm gonna have to say, I don't think there's anything wrong with the vinegar salt solution. Don't get me wrong. But I'm gonna have to say, well, damn. Can you can you tell the difference? I mean, this is the difference between there. I mean, you can see big differences there. But between uh, these two different solutions, I'm gonna have to say the 551 worked just a little bit better, I think, in my opinion. It's just a little bit more coppery color, a little brighter. Okay? <laughs> Okay, so it's been about a half hour. Let's see what we look like. Ah, look at that. 
Okay, can you see that? That is nice and shiny. And it's, it's all, the important thing is it'll be all clean inside. The only thing I've done to it was let it soak. I did flip it over one time just to make sure that there was no air pockets inside. So that's nice and clean. Let's check out our look at that copper, my copper mesh. Okay. It all looks fantastic. All I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse that off with water and let it dry and she'll be ready to use for next time. That is beautiful. So, results of my test, I would like to, I think the 551 worked just a little bit better than the uh, than the water and vinegar salt solution, uh, but it didn't. It did a nice job too. So don't get me wrong on that. It did a nice job too. Uh, the paste, I wasn't. That was a lot of work for less results. So I'm gonna either use the five five one or the vinegar water salt solution. Okay. All right, this has been pretty fun. I hope it helped. Uh, so, all, like I said, all I'm going to do is uh, rinse this off with water and set it over to dry. Okay, last thing to say. Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Stillworks and Brewing.